In this video we're going to subtract negatives where there's lots of parentheses. So we've got to pay attention to parentheses. Um, think about the order of operations, PEMDAS, and do things step by step and get the right answer. So start with uh, these examples, examples one, and then we'll do uh, these guys. Okay. So 18 minus square bracket parenthesis, 7 minus 9 parenthesis, minus 3 square bracket. Okay. So we've got to fo follow PEMDAS, the order of operations. Word of operations, so we go from left to right and we do all the parentheses, alright? That's that's our order of operations, PEMDAS. Okay. Um, and obviously we just have you know subtractions and maybe the odd addition. Um, now we say okay, we've got to do everything inside this parenthesis. But in that parenthesis Square bracket, by the way, is, is just the same thing as a parenthesis. It's just another type. It's it's another way of writing it. Inside that parenthesis, there's a, there's another one basically. So we always do the innermost one first, you know. So parentheses they could they could look like this curly brackets, curly brackets. They could look like this square brackets, or like this square parentheses. But they're all the same thing. They're all basically different types of parentheses, you know. Okay, so we've got to do the innermost one first. So the 7 minus 9. So what does that make? And you just basically put your answer there. In fact, here's what I'd like you to do. Could you just write out the whole thing like that? See that? That's a great that's great practice just to do that, you know. And then after you have it all written out, then you can plug your answer in to that parenthesis, right? So I mean, that's really a, a great way of doing it. Anyway, so 7 minus 9. I have $7. I subtract $9. How much money have I now? Or you can use your blam blam trick. Subtraction is the same thing as plus negative. So whenever you see subtract, you can go blam blam plus negative, right? Seven good guys plus nine bad guys. Two bad guys, right? And now we go on to the next step. So it's about writing things out line by line, taking your time. We've got these parentheses to deal with. There's a one operation to do there. And when we're done, we'll put the answer in here, and then we write everything all out again. So that's good practice there to do that. See that? So now I'm going to figure this out. Negative two minus three. I'm in debt by two dollars. I subtract three dollars. How far in debt am I now? Aren't you further in debt? Here are two negatives. Did they make a positive? No. These two negatives made a, a bigger negative, didn't they? Or you can say, look, there's a subtract sign there. Blam, blam. Two negatives plus three negatives. Two bad guys and three bad guys. That's five bad guys. Write it in. Very important that we left these square brackets because it just helped us to split up the two negative signs. See, this negative sign comes all the way down here. See that? And now we have 18 minus negative five. See that? If you subtract a negative, What's the rule? So we've got to remember that negative negative can be written plus plus. Okay. Uh, what's this? It's like I have eighteen dollars, but a bill of five dollars was cancelled. Great. Taking away negatives is a good thing. I feel better. A bill of five dollars was cancelled. That means I I oh great, don't have to pay that then, or or I got refunded basically. And so now I have twenty-three. And of course, the easiest way is to say, okay, negative, negative, plus, plus. 18 plus positive 5 gives me 23. Okay. So now we'll do this one step by step. And what I'd like you to do is um, have a look at this. We've got two types of parentheses. Oh, first of all, obviously write it down. Negative 9 minus square bracket. Uh, and then inside the square bracket, there's a, another parenthesis here, right? So, if we're following the order of operations, what do we do first? Got to do parentheses first, right? Got to do parentheses first. But inside the parentheses, like you do the kind of the innermost one, because we go, okay, we'll do the square brackets. But inside square brackets, what do we do inside here? Well, we got another one here. Got these parentheses, right? And what I'd really love if, if you could just do that. See that? And then write the whole thing out all over again. That's the 
the actually the fastest way. The fa I mean, the fastest way, you know, is the the long. You know, I mean, there's no shortcuts. There's no point doing this in your head. You'll probably make a mistake. So just write it out line by line. Take your time. So four minus five, four dollars. Take away five dollars. How many dollars is that? I have four dollars. I take away five dollars. What do I have now? You're in debt by one, right? Negative one, right? Or change that, subtract the plus negative. Four good guys and five bad guys. What does that make? One bad guy, right? Now we've got to do inside this parenthesis. So it'd be awesome if you could do this. See, square bracket, square bracket. Figure out what's inside there. See that? Oh, don't forget to bring this down. So you're writing everything out and you're just doing one step at a time and you're following the order of operations. So negative one minus two. I'm in debt by one dollar. If I then subtract two dollars, won't you be more in debt? How far in debt are you now? So subtraction plus negative. Negative one plus negative two. One bad guy plus two bad guys. Three bad guys. Okay, now what? Negative nine minus negative three. Do you see a negative negative there, right? I'm in debt by nine dollars, but there was a bill of three dollars cancelled, so I get that money back. So I have, I'm not, I have more now. So negative negative makes plus plus. Now it says nine bad guys plus three good guys. Nine bad guys and three good guys. Six bad guys. Negative six, right? Examples two are just a little longer. I just want you to be aware of this step. So I'm going to do this one, then I want you to do this one. If I see this, I've got a negative on the outside. I've got three minus eight here. Okay, I want to do three minus eight <coughs> first because it's inside a parenthesis, right? And then I'll deal with this negative afterwards. So I deal with the three minus eight first. Okay. Subtraction can be changed to plus negative. So three plus negative eight gives me what? three good guys and eight bad guys put them together and you get five bad guys now I have negative negative five okay so that's like a double negative if something is not invisible what does that mean if something is not invisible that's two negatives see not invisible equals visible right just like Negative negative five just equals five, right? Or you can just change negative negative to plus plus, and of course that's just five. Right? Five. So please do this one yourself the same way. Press pause if you need more time. Negative parenthesis seven minus nine parenthesis. Do that all on your own. Okay, I'll do it now. We gotta do inside the parentheses first. We have a sub Okay. Afterwards, we'll deal with that negative sign on the outside. We have seven minus nine, seven dollars. Take away nine dollars will give you a debt of two. Or change the subtraction to plus negative. Now it says seven positives plus nine negatives. Seven good guys and nine bad guys. Put them together. What do you get? Two bad guys. Now it says negative negative two. Negative negative plus plus. Answer is positive two, right? Okay, so we'll go on to this. And we've got to take her step by step here. So when we look at this problem, we've got different parentheses. Look at this one. Square bracket. So we've got to do inside here first, following the order of operations. Got to do parentheses first, right? Inside of that, we actually have this parenthesis. So we've got to do the red parenthesis first. It would be great if you could write that down like that. Just leave it blank. 
leave it empty and rewrite the entire problem out again see that and this really is the way that you end up getting the right answer and so just take your time get the right answer so 2 minus 4 what's that so you just make every step correct and then at the end you'll be correct minus is plus negative two positives plus four negatives gives two negatives right? now what gotta do inside the square bracket right okay so inside the square bracket it's a negative negative two so whenever we see negative negative we can do what plus plus right so that gives us what inside the square bracket so plus positive two minus five or a positive two minus five is what and if you want to you can change this subtraction to plus negative, right? Oh. So we have a positive 2 and a negative 5. Two good guys, five bad guys. What does that give us? Three negatives. So negative 3 inside the square brackets and write everything else out. Okay? So 22 minus negative 3 minus 3. And again, the trick is, whenever you see a subtract sign, you can change that to plus negative. Whenever you see two subtract signs, you can change that to plus plus. Okay? So this equals this, and this equals this. So when I see a subtract sign, I can go plus negative. When I, s oh, sorry. Well, plus negative here as well, but it wouldn't, it, it doesn't make any difference, see, because we still have two negatives. So I just wanted to make you aware of that. Well, let me just uh, go back a bit here. Sorry, because we had two negatives. Or I had a double negative, right? Had a double negative, and that can be changed to plus plus, right? And here we just have one negative. Change that to plus negative, right? So twenty-two plus positive three plus negative three, right? If you want, you can combine these two guys together to make zero, and your answer is twenty-two or you can go from left to right or whatever but 22 and 3 25 plus negative 3 22 either way you should get 22 right so please press pause write this down and try to do it all yourself and then I'll go over it with you so we got 17 minus square bracket and then negative parenthesis 5 minus 7 close parenthesis minus 9 square bracket minus 11. So press pause, write it down, try it yourself and then I'll go over it with you. Okay, I hope you press pause and tried it. I'll do it now. So we've got to do this inside guy first. So I'm just going to do him and then I'm just going to write everything else down. See, that's usually the best way. Just write everything else down, one step at a time, write everything else down. 5 minus 7, $5 subtract $7, I'm in debt by 2, or plus negative, 5 good guys, 7 bad guys, 2 bad guys. Right, now press pause and keep going if you missed that step. Press pause, write this out, and keep going if you missed that step. Okay, I'll do the next step now. So inside the square bracket, we have a double negative and then a minus 9. Double negative can be changed to plus plus, subtraction, plus negative, that says positive 2 plus a negative 9. Two good guys, nine bad guys. Seven bad guys. Write out everything all over. What have we got left now? 17 minus negative 7 minus 11. Negative negative plus plus subtraction plus negative. 17 positives and 7 positives makes 24 positives plus 11 negatives 24 good guys 11 bad guys or 24 minus 11 13 right